Hello and welcome to Star Citizen. My name is Evan Lease, and today on 10 Minutes or Less, we are once again taking a look at the Drake Vulture. We've already looked at this ship before, but that was in a previous game version. This is game version 3.22, which adds a good amount of features to the ship, pretty much rounding it off in the salvage gameplay for now. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at what's new and see uh, what type of gameplay it adds. Let's get into it. There's not any changes to its physical appearance. This is still the, Dra the same Drake Vulture that released um, when it initially released a while ago. But what they did do is they added new salvage features. This is why I'm going over this ship again. I made the notion that anytime a ship gets new gameplay added for it, I'm going to go over it again because, I mean, you got You have to, right? You have to see... You have to see what the ship can do with the new intended features for it. So that's why I'm going over it again. So really quick, we'll touch base on what the exterior holds, and then we'll go into the interior and take a look at some of the new stuff in there. And we'll go from there. Starting from the outside, you do have the two scraper heads here on the front. My ship is, you know, jumping around right now. I'm near a river and it's just freaking me out. Um, the two scraper heads, one of them has a tractor beam and you can use that to grab your target and rotate it and move it and everything. And then right over here is the new fracture and disintegration modules that are along the side. Um, you're going to see them in action here throughout this video. And then once it does disintegrate, this right here is like a chomping thing. It brings that disintegration stuff right into your ship into the new buffer. Now, before we head inside, I just want to go over This thing does have two weapons on it. It's not going to really do much because those weapons are size 1 weapons. They are the CF-117 Bulldogs right there. Uh, and as you can see a video on screen... It'll probably be good if you need to <laughs> kill someone on foot or maybe a small ground vehicle, but you're not going to get much further than that, so probably best you don't try. Moving into the inside of this ship, I'm going to go ahead and shut the door here. All right. As you can see, this is not changed much at all. Or at all. At all. <laughs> but this has. So if you head up to the machine here, uh, you're going to see now it says total internal storage. It does hold 13 SCU in an internal buffer here. So while you're out salvaging, uh, fracturing, disintegrating, you don't have to keep running back and forth, you know, to move each box. It'll hold 13 SCU. So do what you need to do. It'll tell you how full it is up at the top while you're, you know, doing your, your job. Uh, and then once you fill that buffer up, you come down here, you click auto eject, and then you hit eject it only makes one scu size boxes so you just keep on moving them and moving them until it ejects all 13 if that's how much scu you have in there going into the craft menu not much has changed here you can still craft the multi-tool tractor beam attachment and all your canisters and attachments if you want to do like handheld scraping so that's the major change on the interior of the vulture when it comes to its new gameplay function well of course that's like the, uh, <laughs> it's one of the major changes, right? You actually need a reason for this. It's not just for the scraping. So let's get into another big change. Let's go ahead and go up top here. They added, they pretty much rounded out the gameplay for salvage, right? So now you have fracturing and disintegration. And what that does is once you're done scraping a ship, which by the way, scraping a ship is going to still be the most valuable resource. It's up to, I think, around 12,000 SCU per SC, uh, 12,000 SCU, 12,000 credits per SCU now. So the scraping material, well worth it. And then when you fracture and disintegrate, that comes up with construction material, which is typically between four to 6,000 per SCU, but you can get it quite easily um, as fracturing and disintegration is pretty much just press a button, aim, point, look, done. It will get more advanced in the future, but it's just not there yet. But let's take a quick look at the inside of the ship, just kind of see what we have. Obviously, you do have, you know, your components, quantum drive, uh, life support. Over here you have, you know, storage. More storage. You can put guns there. 
Um, moving into the inside, you got battery here, so you can open that. Typic well, you could open that, but you can't open it right now. <laughs> right here, you do have component access, so you can access all the components here, cooler, power plants. Um, you have a little, like, kitchen right here, including a small bed behind you, which is amazing. This thing, this ship has a great, um, living quarters, right? Because it, it, it's not really got the fuel for the long haul, but you can definitely do it with having the living quarters you do, including, as some of you know, the most favorite feature, a bathroom, which does have a toilet, and it does also have a shower. They're not functioning yet. This is just another feature that someday will function, uh, more than likely. We're not... Whoop, I didn't mean to sit on that. Oh, please don't do anything crazy. Okay, get off the crapper. Oh my gosh. Every time I've sat on a crapper, I, I've almost gotten eaten alive, so I'm very wary about that. It, there's no 100% guarantee that we're ever going to see the bodily fluid and showering portion of the game. Not yet, at least. Um, or how in-depth it's going to be. But we'll see. It could be very in-depth. We just don't know yet. There's some more components here. Left, right. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the interior. We've seen this all before, if you've seen my other Drake Vulture review. Uh, so let's get into the main portion of why I'm doing this again. And that would be the scraping... <laughs> fracturing and disintegration. What better way to test the new uh, disintegration feature than coming to the new area of Aster's Clearing um, and also disintegrating one of the newest ships, the Santok Yai, which is just sitting here broken apart, so I'm not going to get a crime stat or anything. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the feature. And as you can see, right in the middle, there's that little circle. So I'm going to go ahead and disintegrate this, and it's going to give me 1.9 SCU, which is perfect. I mean, it's free, right? I'm, I'm clearing out garbage, first of all, uh, that's scattered around. And I, I plan on this is like one of the new gameplay loops, right? Because you don't really need a mission. You don't need to go out there and do salvage contracts. You can just go and look for people's car, you know, car accidents, you know, spaceship accidents, and clean up battlefields. Clean up battlefields, clean up space stations. It's amazing. So that's one of the newest, uh, like, ideas with this ship. In somewhat the Reclaimer. You can't really do that with the Reclaimer planet side because it would take you forever to, to get in and leave the atmosphere, right? Um, but definitely with the Vulture, I think that's what it has over the Reclaimers. You can do this a lot more freely. Okay, moving away from battlefield wrecks. You can definitely get missions um, that give you salvage claims, you know, ships that are just floating out in space that you need to go and scrape, fracture, and disintegrate. So obviously you'd come out here, you take your scrapers, you turn them on, you know, you get all the your scraper material right off here, and you know, you peel the, peel the paint right off this thing, right? Peel the metal right off. Uh, once you feel like you have enough of this done, uh, and you, you know, you're ready to fracture, you just turn that off, Get 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 to going. I turned on my fracture. I'm gonna turn off my gimbals, and I'm gonna look right at it now. And here we go. Boom! Broke it apart. At this point, it's fractured. So now I'm gonna go ahead and hit right Alt S, and I'm gonna start collecting. And you'll see how much you know SCU you get out of each piece. Love it. It's a one-click type of deal right now. In the future, I'm sure it's gonna get a lot more, uh, you know, crazy. Right there, perfect. Okay. Because I obviously things do get more advanced after the first iteration. Um, but as of right now, this is a great first iteration. It's 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 a good first step. Turn that off. What do I think of this ship still? Um, it's still a 10 out of 10. Uh, big time. Um, even more so now. Because the gameplay functions are almost completely in there. Uh, obviously, they need to flush it out, right? But for now, this is great. This is awesome. You can go to combat zones, you can go to bunkers, which is a combat area. Uh, you can go to cities and whatnot and clear the the air, pretty much, of any sort of debris wrecks um, without getting a crime stat. Like, if I were to go over to the station right now, even in the armistice zone, I can pull out the disintegrator and get rid of any sort of wrecks, and I can do that at any station. Now, cities are a little bit different. You can't use the disintegrator in cities 
arms arms assist areas. So like if I was going to do Babbage, I wouldn't be able to do it. But um, hopefully someday they'll change that. Stay tuned for a moment. And you'll see just how much I made off of the construction material. Don't forget to eject your stuff. So if I go here, it shows me uh, the value, obviously, for just one. It's 6000 So then I'm going to go all five and sell. So, I mean, right there alone, just by fracturing that one 100i and then picking up some debris all over the ground at a couple areas and right outside the landing pad, made myself a good amount of money. And now imagine if you filled up 12 SCU on the cargo grid, another 13 SCU in the buffer, and then brought all that home, you know, sold the 12, printed the next 13, and you're making bank. Thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one.